Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back Cyber Angels and new people if you've landed on this channel by chance, welcome and please subscribe and hit that bell on all and you'll uh, be informed or notified when I go live as I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards and I also do healings, meditations every night is different and I also answer questions um, that are um, supported by a donation that is a super chat or a super sticker now if you would like to have an extensive reading a private one then please use the details below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner there is a white circle with an eye and you can click on that too okie dokie now this is your romance reading Pisces for August 2020 you came in second um, it was Capricorn with 276 views and you were something like 96 and wow thank you very very much for your likes and sharing um, and I'm just doing the top three and uh, as it is uh, quite uh, time consuming to sort out who has won the next stage so I'm just doing the top three and that's Capricorn Pisces and gems and Pisces you have won from the gems so that's brilliant well have a look um, uh, at Brenda tarot readings because uh, she uh, with her the gems are winning and then it's vice versa each week or oh, it's fun it's fun she's a Pisces and I'm the Gemini so we're, we we're great friends really and we love the way you both and all react thank you for your kindness and gratitude I'm using the romance deck one for each week of the month and I'm also using a tarot card to de clarify it and a Lenormand card and I'm just keeping it a bit as a surprise so that's why they are laid out like this and Archangel Michael and an answer of the angels okay so we're going to start off with the first card in the first week of um, August the children might be the issue um, your love life is being affected by children if you haven't got children it could be children from a friend uh, or a sister or a family member and they might be coming to stay with you and you're not used to children so that can have effect on your relationship and if you are young like a teenager from 18 on and onwards then your relationship might be also be affected by children if you haven't got children you might be called in to do babysitting for instance and yes that can um, have effect on your relationship but remember it is holiday time and parents want some time off as well and so they are calling in the nanny or the babysit um, to take care of their children whilst they have an evening out so that's what I'm saying this is a general reading so remember um, if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and take from the reading what you uh, can use it is food for thought it is the energy that is around you or can surround you to um, and with this information you can make uh, the decision or choice what kind of action you need to improve your relationship and of course we have the clarifying cards and the first card is the hermits the hermit means and Capricorn had the four of swords so again this is very spiritual like Capricorn because it means meditation or contemplation and evaluation you need to think about things and evaluate the situation at hand or the question so to enhance your partnership or improve your relationship if you're not hooked up then yes uh, take time out and sit and meditate and contemplate manifest to bring a new love in or a special partner um, also meditate on this but manifest it and whilst you're contemplating and see and that's evaluating how you can meet a new partner 
you you know if you are um, if you're isolating yourself well then you know the answer don't isolate yourself because you've also got the hermit he's always on a life journey and on a, perhaps a psychological journey a psychic journey media uh, spiritual journey it could also be on holiday so you might be on holiday at the moment but the meditation and contemplation uh, time means that you are thinking about things on how to do things what to throw away what is of no use to you anymore so your travels will be lighter and of course in these spiritual moments that we take for ourselves even if it's 10 mornings in the 10 minutes in the morning sorry and 10 minutes at 9 it does relax us and enhances our uh, um, um, consciousness we will be more aware of what is going around uh, on around us and what we could do it makes us conscious on what we can do perhaps children could be an issue because you haven't got children and that is what one of you wish to have and you might need to contemplate on how to get pregnant and why and if someone in the relationship doesn't want to get pregnant then that could be the issue as well then I would advise seek um, uh, professional advice on getting pregnant and if you can't get pregnant what can we do otherwise because we have the stalk we have the stalk so you might be contemplating on how to get pregnant because uh, it is difficult well relax a little bit that is also what the hermit means relax don't force things okay when you try too hard and you want it too much then it won't happen but you might need to seek professional advice because the hermit is also an old man in this case he is uh, pictured as a ghost well in my fantasy uh, or Im Im image um, not fantasy um, the way I look at this card it looks like a ghost okay so if you would like to get look this man has got a little case so go to the doctor go to the GP and talk to him about it it will put you back into your strength okay because you've got 17 and 17 becomes an 8 and that's the house of strength the house also of money so you're going up from 8 to 9 so there will be a shift most probably in the first week of August perhaps it might just happen boom like that because you're taking time out the hermit also means taking time out take time out with your partner okay um, remember we have got heterosexual partners and we they can get pregnant but we've also got um, same-sex partnerships and they one the ma the masculine one can't get pregnant so you need to seek advice from an official if you want children and that means adopting or surrogate finding a surrogate mother so get help there's always a way to make um to to make a try if you if if like you know it is difficult i know it's mentally difficult if you want something and you can't get it or it's not working but there's always also adoption and in every country rules are different like in some countries they won't let you adopt if you're over 35 years old um in some countries um that counts as well in Holland for example if you are 35 you're not allowed to adopt doesn't matter whether you're homosexual uh, lesbian or, or or heterosexual you can adopt a, a handicapped child well um, you are giving life and love to somebody um, but I don't think that is really fair because uh, that is also being discriminating 
towards the gay people as to the handicapped people. So go and talk. This could be difficult mentally but also physically because handicapped people need a special loving and caring. I've worked with them and I've done that for 22 years and I know what I'm talking about but you get so much love back so that could be also an issue and I think this has come up uh, um, by the divine this is given to me by the divine to pass on this message that don't give up hope there's more ways than one to get to Rome and I've just seen a white butterfly passing my window behind uh, through the window I'm sorry I'm getting a bit muddled up but I've done three days four days of video making and I'm losing my speech sorry about that but you know I'm talking about the divine and a wh white butterfly passes by and now a white feather unbelievable white means purity it is the divine light the white light so this is blessed in one way or another there could be one or two couples out there that are actually trying to cope with this situation this is a very important message don't give up seek health but foremost relax relax if you want to get pregnant time in the divine will help you there might be another reason that might be that you will be getting more than one child in a funny way like you might adopt a child in Africa or India and you might get pregnant all of a sudden so you've got two f children Wow this is how magical stuff can get there's going to be 360 degrees turnaround so if you haven't got children it, they will come you might be moving home uh, you that is what the stalk means or there could be a birth of a child that you might hear of if you can't get pregnant because you're mature you might find out you're going to become a grandmother or an aunt or you might find out um, there will be a birth of something new a new project and that could be related to be with children as well okay now for those that already have children the issue can be that your children are demanding too much time from you and you can't be uh, spend quality time with your partner so think about and contemplate on how you can do that and if you can't then seek advice and turn this round 360 degrees wow in the second week we have passion so it seems that something went right in the first week the passion is back big time allow your heart and soul to sing with joy I hope for those that this resonates with I hope for you that it will turn round and you will get your passion back for life or in the relationship that you've contemplated and you've found the answer within you and with your partner I hope you've found the solution so passion is a life Wow you've got the hanged man so the passion was delayed perhaps having a child was delayed as the hand hanged man means delays four hours four days four weeks four months could even be in the worst scenario four years but you've got an other perspective the hanged man also means getting an other perspective and an, again go within meditate and contemplate so the first two weeks 
of August is definitely getting the answers from within or the new ideas listening to your intuition and finding the answer finding a different perspective and use that perspective so that the passion can come back and stay there and you've got the brooms there might have been uh, arguments with regards to the, the situation with having children or not having children um, but the passion is back because the angels are here 11 and that's an angel number that's the doorway the angels are here and are hearing your are hearing your manifestations affirmations prayers the passion will be back step through that door like if you if one of you doesn't want to have children and the other one does it's very difficult to come to a compromise so get professional help and talk about it why don't you want to have children why won't you allow your partner to get pregnant or adopt there will be help there will be a solution um, that will bring back the passion somebody is going to make a compromise and I would advise you you both have to compromise it's give and take in a relationship and also respect for each other not only towards each other but also what each other wants okay do you want to stay together then you have to work at it and come to a result or a compromise in the third week it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership give your relationship a chance yes but you must keep on communicating and you must learn to respect and compromise okay and get a different perspective nobody's perspective is the right one you have to find the middle road and if you can't then ask somebody to help you be creative you've got 12 here creative 9 an end of a phase you're ready for the next phase you're going from 9 to 10 okay and what kind of 10 is this the 10 of swords somebody in the relationship uh, whether it's an, or or perhaps a past relationship you might have felt stabbed in the back you are absolutely ginormously hurt or you were hurt well if that relationship is finished then let it go and if you are hooked up again then let go of the past and give this new relationship um, or face a chance don't drag old cows out of the canal that's what we say in Holland don't drag old things up move on you finished with this person boom let the past be you are in this situation and scenario okay give your relationship a chance bring back the passion talk about it seek professional advice you can't force people to have children if they don't want children if you want children you have to compromise somewhere and make that new beginning but I've got a feeling this is a past hurt perhaps it is past hurt or something that happened in their childhood because they feel they have been stabbed in their back and that's why they don't want to have children it could have been one of their own parents that hurt them so much and they don't want children because their parents traumatized you or your partner you must work through that in order to get this new beginning and giving this relationship a chance and look at this you've got two the two is the clover in Lenamon means luck 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 is here for both of you the two is balance it will balance out you will find a solution 
but it takes a lot of courage, honesty and perseverance and if necessary help from the outside. Now if somebody left you and you felt, felt stabbed in the back and you this phase is finished then you will go into a new phase and we've got reconciliation okay reconciliation now they might have left but reconciliation reconcile somebody might reconcile because reconcile comes from reconciliation they might come back onto their decision and go for this baby because they love you and they will work through their issues so that the past will not be repeated someone from your past is returning to your life so perhaps let's say in the worst scenario you don't want to get pregnant I'll take it as a woman because I'm speaking as a woman you don't want to get pregnant because you were your mother was abused and hit by her your father I'm sorry if I'm bringing out some kind of truth that might resonate with somebody but I can really really understand this because I am a life coach and I have worked in the healthcare I've seen a lot but I can understand why somebody doesn't want to get pregnant because their father was abusive to their mother and they don't want to um, um, their children to be affected uh, by arguments between you and your partner now you have to work through that because you are in your own strength you can decide on how to act right if your husband or your partner is fine at this moment and you're scared that they will flip once the baby is born because yeah the, the father will always feel left out because one partner is the mother okay or the m mother prototype that takes stays, stays home and takes care of the baby and and washes the, the the baby feeds the baby and is spends the most time with the child and the father we must remember this the father does feel left out so we have to learn everything that is new we have to learn and we have to share time together quality time and draw your husband into the caring and nurturing of the child there are such beautiful moments every single age has the beautiful and negative moments when a child is nine months and it, it's teething and the crying might work on your nerves then we have to count on our partner the father of the child to take over and be nurturing and caring the most beautiful things come are pulled out of you definitely if you are scared of becoming a father or a mother if you get pregnant and you have your child all the worries will fall away once they are in your arms so they might come back on their decision or you might come back on your decision again a two and this is the two of cups you are soulmates and think of it this way bringing a child into three is a crowd I know but a child is different okay it can bring you closer together but if you are separated from somebody and they want to come back don't get pregnant straight away don't get a child because it will not help it will not secure a relationship I've seen it so many times in the end they do separate anyway don't have a child for the sake of having a child no have a child and bring it into the world because a child deserves a father and a mother it deserves two parents
and look at this you've got the sun the sun says birth birth of a child fertile time and the sun also means Leo so August is a fertile time if you want to get pregnant then now is the time to get pregnant if you don't then take precautions and you've got 31 which is a 4 this is something stable for long term okay some of you might take your relationship up to the next level you might be moving home expanding you might be going on holiday and you might just get pregnant on holiday and this is just by the seaside so I think some of you might be going away to the seaside beautiful it might be a Leo um, there might be a Leo here that this resonates with although this is the reading for Pisces your partner could be the Leo or the Virgo because the hermit also represents the Virgo sign so Leo and Virgo are the prominent zodiac signs if you're not getting pregnant in August then you most probably could be pregnant in September as that is the Virgo month this reading has taken a life of its own again because it's going on and on it's long but it's a lot of information definitely for those that want to get pregnant and they, ca they can't or somebody that doesn't want to get pregnant and they can there's things to work through now we've got a healing card because it's a green card and it's from Archangel Michael release worry pull the plug on worry Archangel Michael is presented to pull the plug on worry just present to pull the plug on worry just ask and it will be done and we've got two meditative or cards that mean spirituality and meditation meditation brings answers now I didn't sort these cards out really Pisces I did not sort these cards out there you go beautiful reading really I think it's a lovely reading I wish you the best and I hope you come to a beautiful resolution but it seems that there will be extension in the family take care and be safe and please share and like